Welcome to my presentation. I'm going to talk about how we have taken advantage uh, of the quiz access rules to create a plugin that simulates an exam setup assistant, an EA. In the past, uh, during on site exam um, with a personal computer, 40% of the incidents on our campus were due to misconfiguration. This assistant has helped our university to reduce them a lot. I'm Ima Montero, and I'm very happy to be here today. I like drawing, reading, sci-fi, arts and crafts, etc. You will find along the presentation many references to my hobbies. In the titles and the illustrations are also mine. I hope uh, you find them fun. Uh, I'm a software engineer, and I've been working in the education sector for 20 years now. I'm the head of the learning platform at uh, Alfonso de Simo Sabio University in Madrid, here in Spain. And so let's start. Quick access rules are checks that can be run before a student um, can uh, attempt a quiz or even during the quiz. These rules allow us uh, to adapt our quiz to our institution needs. For example, you can use them, uh, this type of rules, if uh, you want to limit the access to the quiz only inside the institution network. First, I'm going to show you the rules available uh, in the core. You can use them as a base if you want to develop your own rules. Below, we have uh, a list of the tools developed by the community. I highly recommend uh, that do, you take a look to the plugins directory. To modify their behavior, we have to remember what happens when a student wants to take an exam. First, the student uh, views, views the activity. If all quick access rules are met, the student starts an attempt, answers the questions, and finally submits the quiz. On the other side, the teacher only can uh, edit the quiz, settings or uh, question, and review the attempts. <coughs> uh, what, what files make up a quiz access rule? We can make a plugin that works with only the first three files, but you can use more if necessary. We can also add files that are not in this slide, um, such as the settings file, if you need custom settings. In this slide, there is a QR code to the Moodle documentation in case you want to research more about this topic. Uh, any plugin, plugin must extend the quiz, the quiz access rule based uh, class. We can change the behavior of the quiz with functions of this class in order to check if the student has completed the, the attempt, allow the student to attempt the quiz, allow a new attempt, display the quiz in a pop-up window, display information about the rules, Etc. For example, uh, we have used the make and description function in our exam system. If we look, uh, if we look at our institution model, we classify uh, exams into three types: self-assessment, grudgeable quizzes, and other types. The grudgeable quizzes can be ordinary and extraordinary exams, as well as continuous assessments. Our teachers combine their full-time work with teaching at the university. This means that they hardly have time to learn how to set up the exams correctly. Many of the problems that we have during on-site exams with a personal computer were caused by exam misconfiguration. Could we avoid this? We need uh, to make it easier for teachers. 
and we have developed an external assistant using these rules. Our WISA text is the exam protocol guidelines have been followed and displays an informative banner. Uh, the feature is an adjustable functionality, uh, constantly updated, and even uh, during the exam sessions. The result is that uh, we have very few incidents. The rules are focused on the students, but we need uh, to focus on the teacher to improve uh, their exam experience. We only need <laughs> the three basic files to develop our uh, plugin. The main file, the main file is a rule.php, uh, which contains our extended class. Inside this file, we, is, uh, we only need two functions. Make function to check if the user has edited permissions and discretion function uh, with information um, we, want, we want to show to the teachers. Inside it, it checks uh, the quick settings and shows the user the misconfigurations. This is the session part of our plugin. Inside it, we check that uh, the exam, uh, we find Wi-Fi network is selected, the only, um, that only one attempt is allowed, that it has automatic submission, that the opening and closing date are set on the same day, that you have a time limit to take the quiz, that the proctoring software is enabled, that uh, it's uh, question and answer has randomness, um, that the quiz has a password, that the quiz is not hidden, that it makes within question are hosted locally, that incorrect answers are penalized, and many others. And this is the result. Here we can see the information looks to the teachers when it's not well configured in a red color, which indicates that is something wrong. At the top, we indicate all the modifications we have to make, and at the bottom, uh, we add additional information for the teacher. Here, we have a closer look of uh, the misconfiguration. It's an example. And in the next slide, uh, you will find uh, the additional information in the tile, in the tail. Um, when teachers set up everything right, the message appears in a blue color, which indicates it's uh, all is okay. What do teachers get from ex and assistant? They make sure their, their sums are set up correctly. Also, they ensure uh, that access uh, to the quiz is safe and secure. Also, uh, on, the, on the other side, uh, service desk obtains a speed uh, into resolving incidents. A quick check that the configuration is correct and a high reduction of incidents due to misconfigurations. But uh, has it really had much impact? Sure. Exams problems caused by misconfiguration has been reduced from 40 to 8%. This reduction has allowed us to add additional rules that uh, we have created to secure the quizzes for the last July session. And is development the only thing we need to do? No, <laughs> no. We need to do it together with trainings, email campaigns, mentoring sessions, manuals, designing an email alert system uh, the day before the exam for misconfigured quizzes. As you can see, teamwork is uh, highly recommended. Finally, I would like uh, to give you a tip. Talk a lot with uh, end users, teachers, students, uh, support technician, administrator, and, put, uh, and try to put yourselves in their shoes. Get that information together with your um, knowledge on uh, middle development and create functionalities that improve their educational experience. And that's all, folks. I hope you uh, have enjoyed this presentation. <laughs> Hello.
Thank you. Thank you, Inma. Does anybody have any questions? We have a couple of minutes for questions. Just raise your hand and we'll get a mic to you if you have any questions for Inma. También la podéis hacer en español. <laughs> On the right hand side there, yeah. Hi. Um, is it possible to uh, go forward uh, even if the rules aren't followed uh, for some, I don't know, some teacher that uh, wants to do things differently? Uh, he might want to go ahead despite the rules not being followed. Is that possible? Um, I don't, I don't uh, hear you, but uh, I, uh, if I understand you, um, uh, all the all our teachers um, can uh, cannot follow uh, our guidelines because, for example, we have uh, exams in hospitals that they they didn't have uh, our exam network. For example, the the plugin is only informative. Uh, if uh, the banner is uh, in red color, uh, it's, uh, it's not a problem. But uh, if, if they, the exam is in a hospital, for example. But uh, uh, it's, it's uh, like um, a lot of tips uh, that, uh, uh, that help us uh, to, to to be <laughs> happy <laughs> when uh, the exam sessions uh, 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 cause uh, a lot of problems. 